Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Welcome back to another episode. In today's episode, look what we did. We fixed the camera situation. Now we got an overhead camera. Look at that. Oh, fancy schmancy. Who would have thought? Plus the other overhead camera. I'm telling you, man, I put you, when you put your mind to it, you get it. I mean, all I wanted was a helicopter, and now I got two helicopters. Helicopter, helicopter. Yeah, we got two helicopter cams, right? We got. We got helicopter cam number one all the way up here. And we got helicopter cam down here, which is, uh, look at that, we got the cutting board. All right, so anyways, enough of the camera action. That's not what you guys tuned in for. You guys tuned in to watch me cook. So, uh, but again, you can't watch me cook if we don't got the cameras, right? So, Bruh. anyway, okay, enough funny guy. All right, let's get to work. So today, what we're gonna be making is um, some chicken, uh, de pollo. I'm sorry, I had like a, <laughs> I went. <laughs> We're making a fricasse de pollo, which is basically chicken fricasse. It is the Cuban version. Um, we've made many versions of the chicken fricasse, chicken, you know, um, cacciatore, yada, yada, yada. It's a similar kind of situation there. So that's kind of what we're gonna be making today. We're just making the Cuban version, all right? As you guys can see, we got some of the tomato sauce out. We got the olives out. We got the rice for something else. We got onions, we got all that stuff. So we're gonna make that, we're gonna go through that. We got the chicken, we already got everything going, all right? So we're gonna be making that. We're gonna make some rice, all right? So it's gonna be served with rice, all right? That's how we do it in the, the Cuban household. And we're gonna be making some sweet plantains. That's right. Everybody loves sweet plantain, so it's gonna go very well with this meal. So again, it's a, uh, you know, again, you saw the thumbnail, you guys know what it is. If not, you'll just stay tuned and you'll see exactly what it is. And then we're also gonna be making some rice pudding. That's right, some rice pudding. I can't wait for that, some Cuban rice pudding to be exact. So we're gonna be making some of that and uh, so much more hilarity. So you already know what's up. All right, so let me roll the intro real quick. Let me see how things are rolling on the other end and uh, we'll be right back in a few seconds. All right, see you on the other side.
Alrighty. Alrighty then, as they like to say. Shout out to everybody out there. So, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I hope you guys are ready to rock and roll. We got Gizmo ready to rock and roll, as usual, out there. Um, anyways, I decided to, if you guys are new here, welcome. Shout out to you. But if you guys have never, if you guys have already been here before, you guys already know that uh, the, the camera that's over the cutting board now, that's usually the camera I kind of had over there looking at my, the side of my face. And I know um, I'm a sexy guy and all, but you know, at the end of the day, you know, you guys are not tuning in for my sexy face. Well, I don't know, maybe you are. But I think you guys are tuning in for the cooking. So I said, you know what, let me get that camera and point it downwards, I think it'll be a lot better. And you know, things will, you know, you can just look here, here. Keep eyes down here, guys. Down here. Oh wait, up here. What, you know, I don't even know anymore. All right, so let's get into it, guys. Welcome, welcome. Shout out to everybody out there. You know, we got Lambo, we got Narud Jaloof, um, we got Lambo the horse, we got Hivloko, we got the whole fam up in there. But anyways, this looks a lot cleaner, right? I mean, I'm looking, I can barely see, by the way, it's like blinding looking in that way, but um, because of so, it's like 100 degrees out there and it's so bright, the sun is right there. Um, but I can, I can kind of see it, I kind of saw it on the other screen and it looks pretty clean, looks a lot nicer. I mean, I don't know, what do you think? So, maybe you guys uh, can, Give me your your opinion, whether it's honest or not. All right, so we're gonna get started right away. We got, like I said, we're gonna make a fricasse de pollo. All right, a fricasse de pollo basically is uh, you know chicken fricasse, which is gonna take a little long to cook. So I'm thinking, let's just get that going. Let's get that started. In fact, we're gonna pop out this bad boy today. Look at this, huh? By the way, what? By the way, I apologize for any extra noise today. Um, we got uh, some work, construction in the back, some plumbing going on, you know, uh, some other, we got gizmo barking at everybody. Anyways, so I apologize today for the extra noise. But anyways, we're gonna pull out this big bad boy here. This is uh, un caldero, all right, AKA a pot. <laughs> um, this is a particular pot that a lot of Latin American households use um, the many capacities and this uh, pot in, in particular came from Miami it basically actually it came from Colombia to from Colombia it went to Miami my mom bought it and she brought it to me um, filled with underwear by the way all right to her son in Mexico when she came to visit so how about that you know so cool beans for that so we got this awesome pot. This pot is not available here for some reason I don't know why but anyways it's an aluminum pan um, very you know, hard and sturdy, and basically it's like it's a pot. You know, what I mean, it's it takes the place of a clay pot, but it's a pot nonetheless. And uh, you know how we we do here? We love our pots. We love pot. Pot's good. Any broken plates today? No broken plates. We just started. We just started. But I am getting a lot of broken balls. You know, people are fucking breaking. People all around me breaking my balls today and yesterday. Just a lot of a lot of that. No breaking plates, but just a lot of ball breaking. That's for sure. All right, so we're gonna give this guy a little wipey wipe, you know, just in case there's anything in there. Nice pot, thank you very much, I appreciate it. Um, can you quiet thin things down, please? I will try to speak in a, in a soft voice. Adam, how's it going, buddy? Hope you, I'm not too late. No, you, you are on time. We just started this bad boy. So we just started today, got a lot to do. All right, so we're gonna be using this. I think it'll be better than the pan. Why? Because it's it's this is the pan is a little shallow and uh, we're gonna be adding a few things to this. Hey, finally the noise is done for now. Okay, so you know we're gonna be doing that. Now, one of the first things I actually do want to do is I want to cook the rice. I want to start cooking this rice, alright? Why? Well, because it's gonna take a while to cook. Um usually the rice that we would use and in a, a Cuban, um, um, <laughs> the, the rice that we would normally use in a Cuban rice pudding would be arboreal rice, okay, which would be um, a shorter grain rice, um, closer to sushi rice, but not sushi rice, but something in that realm. Um, but in today's episode, you know, we're not, you know, we don't, I couldn't get any of that rice 
my mom used it all up, you know, when she came out here to make something. And uh, honestly, I, I forgot that I ran out. And then, you know, by the time I realized it, I couldn't make it to the store in time. So, you know, because it's not like they sell that rice out here everywhere. In Miami they do because we use it for many things, but it doesn't matter. Rice pudding is rice pudding. We can make it with any kind of rice, so we will be making it with, with this kind of rice, right? So what we're actually gonna do real quick is that we're gonna wash this, all right? We're gonna wash this rice real quick, and um, after we wash this rice, we're gonna put it to cook, all right? Because we wanna cook the rice, all right? We're gonna, in fact, we wanna cook it to death, all right? That's kinda like what we wanna do here. Now, in this case, is we have a lot more rice, let's, uh do this the traditional way. All right, let me bring the camera over here to the sink. All right, we got the sink cam. You see? There. All right, so let's uh, check out the sink for a minute. All right, you're gonna watch me wash my rice. All right. So this is very simple. You get the rice, all right, and you put it with uh, just regular water. All right, you get yourself a nice, uh, you know, colander like this, all right, to drain it. But you see, look, look at the, look at how cloudy the water gets, all right? You don't want that. You don't want to ingest that, all right? Whatever that is, you want to wash it off. So you kind of go like this, all right? Rub it between your hands like that. Okay, you see? All right, and now you just go on ahead and uh, drain it. Let's do it again. Basically, we're gonna do this until all right, you're gonna do this until the water runs clear. So you see, that's basically, you see, it's still a little cloudy, but that's okay, it's not that much. But yeah, you see how all of us, like it's clear, eventually it just runs clear, right? And that is how you wash the rice, all right, you see? That's it. All right, so what we're actually gonna do here, since this is the rice for the rice pudding, we're gonna separate, we're gonna start cooking this. All right, and we're gonna wash the other rice and start cooking the other rice too, because we need rice for the chicken fricassee but two different types of rice. So, just do that, all right? So you see, ta-da, nice and washed, nice and clean, like your butt, like your butt should be. Hopefully your butt is clean as well. All right, so now we're gonna move this bad boy all the way over here again. All right, and now we're gonna pop it in this pot over here. So we're gonna turn this pot, all right, on high. Wash it harder, baby. Wash it harder. Sounds like you're washing something else. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to hear. Bruh. All right. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to fill this bad boy with four cups of water. All right? All right. So we got four cups of water. So we got two cups right here. Let's get another two cups in there.
Now it's like again, um, I was watching, you know me, I like to watch. Oh, I like to watch. I like to watch other people, you know, make these recipes. Meaning, you know, like where I get my recipes, I try to get it from, you know, babuchka, or I try to get it from grandma, from abuelita, you know, from whatever, okay? So this is no different. In this case, it's the same thing. You know, I went on ahead. I got to see, I got to, I'm gonna put this in there. You can see it better. Plus we need more heat on it. All right? Just for demonstration purposes only for a second here. All right, so what we're gonna do here now, we gotta do a few things to this, all right? So remember, we got about two cups of rice in there, a little less than two cups of rice, and we added four cups of water. That's a lot of water, right? I mean, anyone that knows how to make rice you already know hey that's a lot of water but in this case it's fine because we actually want the rice to get mushy you know we're we're trying to get it to be mushy from from this point right here um oh man you know what i just needed hold on let me let me get my my list shopping list with me because otherwise if I don't write it down immediately I'm just gonna completely forget so hold on, salt <laughs> all right okay back to back to the show all right so this is rice just like anything else even though it's sweet we're making sweets here we still want we gotta add salt to everything we add so let's add some salt in there all right now the next ingredient we're gonna add here all right Right, we're writing it down. I'm using the last one. So the next ingredient we're going to add, all right? So right now, all we have in there is rice, water, salt, all right? We're going to add a cinnamon stick in this bad boy, all right? recipe literally all right it's funny because when i was wa i was watching a, a grandma like some other mexican grandma make it and i'm like oh yeah that's how grandma made it because i remember i made this before one of my first videos ever on youtube was like six years ago and it was me making this it was me making grandma's you know um it was me making grandma's fucking uh whatchamacallit oh, let me watch this um rice pudding And, um, and I remember I was just making it, you know, from what I would remember, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it didn't come out exactly like grandma's. Now this should, because this is what I remember. Okay. So now we got to get some lime. All right. So here you would, this would be adding the zest. All right. But honestly, I'm going to show you what I, off camera, I'm going to set a camera. Hold on. All right. So here, what we actually got to do. All right, is uh, we got to get some of the peel off, all right? Now, no, I'm not going to get and use... I washed this line, by the way. But no, I am not going to go on ahead and use the, um, the microplane. I am not going to zest this per se. I, I'm actually, look, you see how I'm getting some of the white pith with it? Again, I'm, I'm doing this just like grandma would make it. I know people are like, oh, no, don't do that. Is bitter is whatever. Yeah, I know. That's the point. Maybe that's what they're trying to achieve here. You know what I'm saying? You know. So go with gra Grandma knows best. All right. If she didn't want to use the white pith, I'm sure she would have figured out, or somebody would have figured out a way to not have that in there. All right. So what we're doing is that's why I'm just getting a knife here because I, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I don't want all white. You know what I mean? Um. But, you know, I'm not complaining, as you guys can see from the top camera there, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna be complaining if I do get some of that white. That's the point, you know what I mean? I do wanna get some of that in there. Okay. 
So that, this is why I'm doing it like this, so I can show you guys exactly what I'm doing. So you see, I'm, I'm, get, I'm basically getting all, almost all the way to the fruit here. All right, all right, you see that? But I'm not penetrating the fruit. I'm gonna get Gizmo inside. I feel like he's uh, gonna be chatty Cathy all day today. Puedes entrarlo, para que no esté ladrando cada cinco minutos. Yeah. All right, so that's basically it. That's enough. We don't. We don't gotta go. Let's go with one more. I'm gonna put Gizmo in timeout. Alright, but anyway, so you see, that's like about enough, you know what I mean? Like the pith of the lime there, alright? Okay? And so now we're gonna go on and add that. Okay? In there. And you know what? I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. Add just a little more. Whatever, whatever I can get from the lemon here. Okay? A little more. Nah, that's fine. All right. Look at that. It already smells magical. It already smells so good and delicious. So, you know, we might need to add more water. We might not. We're going to see. What I'm looking for here is I, I want to make sure that the rice gets mushy. All right. Overcooked. Okay. So that's going to take a while. It's going to take a minute. All right. And what we're going to do now is that I am going to go on ahead and cover it. Now I'm going to put it in the back. All right. Oh, you guys are so nasty. You just gotta get your head out of the gutter. So we're gonna put this in the back. <laughs> All right, move this in towards the front. There, we can see both. Right, much better camera action there. So yeah, what we're doing there, we're making um, with, with us making um, the the rice pudding. You're gonna see how different it is, um, because I've seen you know arroz con leche, rice pudding, um, being made many different ways. And yeah, man, the Cuban version is very different, um, but it's it's not that different. It's pretty similar to I think like an American version, you'll see. It's like pudding with rice in it, you know what I mean? It's really good and sweet, you know? So it's amazing. Okay, so now let's move on to the next thing. So now we're gonna start working on the chicken, the chicken, all right? Let's uh, get this guy out of the way, all right? Try to minimize the salmonella. All right, this is my uh, bleach rag, as you know. All right, you guys there? Okay. So now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna start. We're gonna season this lightly. All right. seasoning later it's just to you know get it going we gotta add something in there right you know what I'm saying it's just very very simple so I just got some uh, chicken thighs and some drumsticks in here you can use whatever you want You can use the whole chicken if you want. Um, you can use, yeah, like I said, you can use the whole chicken if you want. You can just use um, 
you know, chicken thighs. You know, um, I usually only use chicken thighs. The reason I'm using, uh, I'm also using um, drumsticks here is because I buy drumsticks for Gizmo, you know, to like make him, uh, you know, dinner or what have you. And then that's, you know, we just don't double duty. All right, so let's uh, move it back over here to the, the GoPro. All right, the helicopter cam. Helicopter, helicopter. No, wrong helicopter. There you go. That's the right helicopter. Okay. So let's, uh... Oh, I gotta sneeze. Ah, shoot! Fuck. I gotta sneeze it. It's that pepper. Alright, so we're gonna give this a quick little mix. And we're gonna cover it so it can boil, so it can really, really, you know, cook and do its thing, alright? Now, in, in the other pan here, We're gonna add a bunch of olive oil. All right, we're gonna get this chicken, all right? And we're just gonna, you know, just toss it a little bit, you know. Just get some little seasonings on there, get some of that salt on there. You know, don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is just, because you don't wanna just throw it in there unseasoned. You gotta put something on there, you know what I mean? Anything, you know? Just, even salt and pepper is fine, but might as well, you know, these are kind of the ingredients we're gonna be using in here anyway. So why not use it? I took away, I went on ahead and I took away some of the, the skin off of some of these pieces, all right? Not to have extra fat or skin, but it's up to you. You can do whatever you want. All right, so again, you know, we're gonna now go on ahead and stick these bad boys in there. In no particular order. Salmonella chicken pan. Give me a second, right there. Okay. The beautiful thing. Look at that. Shout out to everybody out there. I got a lemon too, it's parked in my garage. All right. Here where I am, it is currently snowing. Get the hell out of here. It's like 100 degrees over here. It's 100 degrees. Oh, oh, okay, look at this. It's already like, it was overspilling a little bit. I didn't even notice. Look at that. So like I said, we use a different kind of rice normally for this, but this is the only rice we had, and rice is rice, you know? So this rice, we're just gonna wanna cook it longer. That's all. All right, so you can make it with regular rice in case you don't have a boreal rice. A boreal rice would be the, the rice you need for this, but you can make it with a regular rice, as you can see from today's episode. All right, so let's cover it up again. I want this to... You know, cook as much as possible. All right.
you hear me now? Okay. All right, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go on ahead and add, get all the other stuff ready for this, all right? So onion, garlic, green pepper, all right, to start off. Okay, so let's just go on ahead and get that onion, the onion. That's how you say the onion. Okay. Okay, so let's just get all this uh, chopped up. Look at that, isn't it nicer to not have to worry about the, the camera up top and now you can see everything I'm doing? See? Isn't that better? Alright, let's check on that chicken. You know, make sure, you know, we don't want to burn it. We're just trying to brown it. You know, get that flavor. So we're just chopping, chop, 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 chop. Chopping the onion, good. Chopping the, the leftover red pepper from yesterday, remember? And then the little green pepper, the sweet pepper. Remember how we did the demonstration? What a, what a real green pepper looks like and then next to a, you know, the GMO modified, you know, green pepper. All right, so just take all the seeds out of this. So I can already hear it. Remember, you gotta use all your senses when you're cooking. So right now, I can already hear it slowing down. That's my timer. That's my, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, how does the, like, the chef or the cook, you know, has like that timer, and, you know, that. The thing is, it's like, not only do we have experience and knowledge and time, and, you know, we just already can recognize certain things. Um, but the thing is, it's like, you know, you gotta, you know, trust your senses. So I can, without even looking at it, you know what I mean? I can already know. Um, what's going on back there? You follow me? So as things get slower, you know, once, you know, if it's going, shh, that's, you know, at the beginning of the timer. But as everything starts going, shh, you know, slower and slower and slower, that's when you know, you know, that things are, you know, about to burn, you know, they're already, you know, on the verge. All right, so let's uh, go on ahead and take a look over here. All right, so as you guys can see, basically the chicken is done. All right, so now what we're gonna do, at least done for this step. All right, so let's go on and just get the chicken. We're gonna get this chicken out. Here, let me uh, show you again. Yeah, I gotta get the voice commands. I gotta get all that voice command stuff so I don't have to worry about the mouse. Working on that next. Okay. And so, the reason we use this pan is because you see all that stuff is like stuck on there. It's not stuck, that's the flavor. Look, it's still like, look at that beautiful color. Look at that beautiful color. And that's pure flavor. And um, how do we get that off? Easy. You know, we go on ahead and we add some onion. All right, the onion. The onion. The onion. <laughs> the onion. The onion. And the peppers, you know, as they're cooking, you know, they release liquid, AKA water. 
and that water will help deglaze the pan. Oh, we got Christian over here. She's uh, also taking lessons. All right, so we're gonna add some salt because the salt, we know what the salt does. What does it do? It dehydrates you. It takes the liquid out. So when you add the salt, that's why sometimes you wait. You you, you see me wait on when I add the salt and when I don't. And uh, sometimes I gotta, you know. Sometimes you gotta. Hmm? Oh yeah, go no, no. Just go ahead. Like you, you uh, just tell me what you're doing, and I will know. All right, so. As you guys can see, it's, it's stuck, but it's not really stuck, all right? The onions and all that, as they start to sweat, 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 um, it starts to, you know, re help release all that on the bottom. And all that, all that on the bottom is all the flavor that was released from the chicken. All the sugars, all the sugars in the protein, in the meat, all right? All of that was released and it was uh, put into the bottom of the pan. It's called a fawn, all right? And all you gotta do in order to release that flavor, release the cracking, is that you gotta just do exactly what I'm doing here. All right, that's it. See? See how easy it is? All right, so look at that. And most of it has already been released. Look at that. Look at that. So basically the pan, is nice and clean. Oh, the floor is not clean. Right? Spill a little bit there. But anyways, it's all nice and clean. All right, due to that um, procedure. All right, so due to that procedure there, all right? So, all right, but now we're gonna, I gotta go on ahead and and quickly, 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 we gotta work quickly. We gotta add that garlic. So we're gonna go with like a, a three cloves. All right. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Because again, if we're gonna be doing this live in the sense of like, you know, same thing if you're at home doing this and you're, you know, doing everything I'm doing at the same time as you're cooking, you know you got that timer. It's that timer that's always, so you gotta hurry it up. So, gotta make sure we get that garlic in there in time. Now, again, the, in order, if you don't wanna do this, you know, you simply get everything, all the ingredients, you get everything done ahead of time. Like I told you many times, like we usually do, the mise en place, and then you, then you just, you know, go step by step and you don't gotta worry about, you know, uh, playing with the time, you know what I'm saying? All right, so now we just get this garlic, add it in there. We're adding it always towards the end. The garlic is always the last thing because you don't want it to burn, you know? Again, it's not like it's a horrible flavor. It's a different flavor and, you know, it's not always the flavor you want. Trust me, sometimes, and some people might not like it, but I like the flavor of burnt garlic sometimes in, in certain dishes, all right? All right, so now let's uh, switch it back over here. Okay, switch it back over here. And we actually got to check on the rice. All right, we need to add more water. So look at that. We need to add a lot more water to that, all right? So let's get the water. Let's add it there first. I feel like playing the clown music. Beep, 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 beep. So again, how much water? I don't know. Just I know it needs to cook for longer. I don't want it to burn. Um, so we just gotta add water. It's, it's we need to evaporate it anyway. So it's no big deal. Alright, so now let's uh, mix all this. Now you see, look, it's starting to burn because I let it too long. No big deal. Because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna deglaze. So now we add the wine, all right? And you see, we save it right on the verge. Again, we don't want to see black. You know, brown is fine. Dark brown is fine. Very dark brown is also fine. Black is not good, okay? Because that means burnt, okay? Remember, some of those specks in there are, you know, the spices that we already added in there. 
that came off the chicken. You know, like the oregano and the black pepper, okay? So that's not burnt, okay? Look, that's how you know, because look at the color, it's brown, okay? So, and as soon as we added, as soon as we added that acid, which was the wine, you see how quickly we saved it, that's it. There's no, look at that, we're back to, back to where we were. But that was basically what we were trying to do anyway, you know, we wanted to, we wanted to, to have the, the onions and the peppers and the garlic and all that kind of caramelized. Again, the, the, there's nothing burnt. You see, the, the garlic is still, you see, the garlic is still, okay? So we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and give this, I'm not, I'm not gonna put a cover on this anymore. I'm leaving it like that. But you see how it just like soaked up all that water like a sponge, okay? Later on, the sucky part is we gotta pick out, we gotta start picking out some of this. So let's just start picking out some of it now, I guess. But yeah, you gotta pick out. I remember grandma would do that. Whatever. Anyways, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Let's let the rice continue to cook. Do its thing. Let's add the rest of the water. All right. So now, okay. So now, what we're going to do here, all right? Now we're going to go on and add. Let's switch it. Okay. Now we're going to go on and add the olives. All right. Because the olives, they also have the brine. All right, so we're gonna get we're gonna add some of that brine from in there, which is also gonna add flavor and salt. Okay, so some of the brine. I would say like about a quarter cup of the brine. All right, that brine is also gonna help you know deglaze at the moment. All right, so we're gonna add all those olives, only green olives. Okay, only green olives. Okay, we see. Look, it's nice and clean. All right, perfect. So we got this on high. This has never stopped. The whole thing has been on high the whole time, right? All right, now the next thing we're gonna go on and add is add the tomato sauce. No hot peppers. Um, oh, are you guys talking amongst yourselves? Or... Never mind. All right, so now at this point, well, now we're gonna add the tomato sauce, all right? Just one little box or can of tomato sauce. All right, now I'm gonna go and get more water. All right, we're gonna need more water. Let's just go on ahead, let's add a little bit here. Okay, so this is La salsa, all right? The sauce for the chicken fricassee, all right? And it's gonna need more water. We're gonna add the water in a second, all right? I just wanna kinda cook this down a little bit first. We're gonna cook this down a little bit, and then we're gonna add the rest of the water, okay? So doesn't, that, doesn't that look good, guys? So now, you know, we still gotta add a few more things here. <laughs> the first thing we gotta do is add a little chicken bouillon. All right, remember the little chicken bouillon cube, okay? Chicken base, chicken stock, chicken, okay. Remember, if you got chicken stock, go for it. If you don't got chicken stock, don't worry about it. Okay, so this already is starting to stick to the bottom. Which is fine, you know, we're getting to where we want. Remember what we're trying to do here, all right? We're trying to get to the, the rice, get nice, look at that, mushy, okay? So we're almost there. In fact, you know, we're just waiting for the rest of that water to kind of evaporate a little bit more, but we're almost there. So now what we're gonna start doing is that we're gonna start picking out some of the, the bigger pieces, all right? In a second, all right, we're gonna have the bigger pieces of the, of the cinnamon. 
All right, so now the sauce is basically done, all right? So this is all basically done right here. All we're gonna be doing now is now we're gonna be adding the chicken. Look at that, the little chicken flavor, juices, all that good stuff. Again, guys, this is a very easy dish. Very easy dish, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna go on ahead and add a little bit more spice. You know, AKA, we're gonna add a little bit more of the oregano. Okay? We're gonna add a little bit of thyme. Yeah, about a teaspoon of each, all right? We're gonna add, you know, one bay leaf. All right, and uh, a little bit of cumin. Okay, so we're gonna mix all this for a second. And now we're gonna go on and add about two cups of water. Okay? Again, we see it's very different than what we've made before. All right, this is uh, you know, grandma's version, right? Oh, shout out to the follower. Let me see, I'll check the follower in a second. Shout out to you. All right, so, and then the one thing we're gonna add here, oh, I think I have an open one already. Kobo, shout out to you. Thank you for following. Shout out to you. All right, so now we have this one ingredient that's just only gonna find in Miami. But basically it's like yellow food coloring and uh, a little bit of cumin and a little bit of banado seed. All right, so we're just gonna add a little bit of that. All right. And this is gonna help mostly, you know, with uh, the color. So you're gonna add about an eighth of a teaspoon, give or take, all right? So that's basically it. Like a, a little bit of like an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, and look at that. Look at how it just changed magically the, the colors there. Wow. Look at that. Now it's like a nice, nice yellowish, orangey. All right. Now it's looking like grandma's. Now it's looking. Now it's looking like it's supposed to look. There's only one thing really missing here. All right, and uh, we're gonna be adding that in a little bit. As soon as we're done with the rice pudding situation. All right. But the only thing it's missing here is the potato. So what we're gonna do now is just cover it, like set it, and forget it, all right? So we're just gonna let it do its thing. That's basically it, okay? Easy peasy, all right? Awesome. Okay? So now I'm gonna go on ahead and turn off the rice. Okay? Yeah, I remember we had tulips in uh, when we uh, when I lived in um, in Seattle. They had a lot of tulips up there. But I mean, tulips are not—they don't grow everywhere. 
I think tulips have to be like in certain climates. And you're not gonna find any tulips out here in the tropics, that's for sure. As far as I know, I don't know, I could be wrong, but I think tulips are very hard owl to find. Here. I don't know, you guys have been going on on tulips for a while there. You know, tulip talk brought to you by. And here's a welcome to tulip talk, everybody. All right, so let's. <laughs> tulip talk! Bruh. All right, so let's. Uh, so, what I'm going to do here, all right, is um, I know that it burnt a little bit to the bottom. Um, what you call, but I don't want to use this same pot. Look, the grandma would probably use the same pot. I'm not going to use the same pot because I don't, you know what? I might use the same pot. I just don't want it to burn, is what I'm saying. Um, I don't think she cooked it much more. But anyways, at this point, what we need to do here, what we need to do, what we have here, what we have here is a failure to communicate. All right, so what we're going to do here is just going to go digging, digging for the, the pieces of cinnamon, all right? It's very hot. Alright, let me use my my palm. My, my palm. Alright, so this already smells incredible. Yeah, and this also looks a lot more like grandma's uh, version here. So yeah, because nowadays, you know, there's just so many YouTubers out there and, you know, now whatever you want, I mean, basically, you can really make authentic food from any part of the world. All you got to do is, you know, just look at, find the video and put in that work. Yeah, sorry about that noise there. I'm just trying to get as many of these chunks out as possible. But anyway, shout out to all the viewers out there. Shout out to everybody. I see we got a bunch of bunch of viewers today. Well, we always got a bunch of viewers, but you know. And by the way, so I'm I'm going and taking the the extra time to take out a lot of these little pieces. But you know, I remember you know grandma and stuff. You know, they didn't really waste that much time. You know, if you got a piece, you got a piece. You know, you just pick it out of your teeth and you, you keep moving. You know? So, I mean, that's how grandma really, they used, that's how grandma used to roll. You know? <laughs> pick it out of your teeth and stop complaining. But yeah, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but my grandma died a long time ago already. I'm an, I'm an old fart. And my mom, she don't know how to cook. And my dad passed away, so it's like... Like a lot of you guys, I gotta go online and find some other grandma or whatever to help me, remind me. You know, I can't just, uh, you know, call my grandma, hey grandma, how do you do this again? So I gotta, gotta thank God that we have online today, right? And we can all have, we have the access to many grandmas out there. That, and thank God, man, thank God there's so many people that are still doing things like this, like grandma's recipe. I'm trying to look, this is why I'm trying to do it this way, because this is how grandma would make it. And I'm not trying to fancy it up or anything. I'm, I'm just trying to do it like how she would make it and trying to pres preserve that, try to anyway. I mean, so far, most cultures of the you know the food that I've made, everybody's been happy except for the Italians. <laughs> the Italians were the only ones that have been offended by my cooking. Um, shout out to the Italians out there. I'm talking about the Italians from Italy, all right? But the Italians from Italy, man, holy shit, did they take it to another level, which is funny, you know. So. Anyways, yeah, I'm just taking out the biggest of the pieces as I can. You know, we, you know, no one wants to bite on a piece of bark. 
But see, isn't it better to have the overhead camera? You can see a lot better of what I'm doing and all that good stuff. And, uh, and I don't really got to worry about moving the camera so much. But anyways, the next thing I'm going to be doing um, with when it comes to like the streaming, um, I can do voice commands. So next time I want to like just go, hey, GoPro, I, and then boom, it just goes to the GoPro. Hey, all cameras, and I get all the cameras. You know, instead of having to like push buttons, I can just say things, and uh, I'm going to program it. You know, so we can have a an even smoother show. So I can focus more on the cooking, and I can just yell at the computer. You know, like I used to yell at my employees, you know? Hey, do this. Hey, bro, hey, hey, do that. You know, it'd be a lot easier to just yell like Chef Ramsay, you know? By the way, you know, there's a reason why us chefs have to yell, man. You know how loud a kitchen is? You know how many things are going on? All right, so, okay, I think we're gonna keep the same pan. I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna take it out of this pan. We're fine, it didn't really burn. I mean, I didn't really stick to the bottom. Just such a tiny amount, it's barely noticeable. And that's fine because we're not really gonna be cooking this much more per se, all right? All right, like I said, we're just digging and getting all the big pieces out because I'm gonna be eating most of this. <laughs> and I'm gonna be picking this shit out of my teeth later. Or I'll just get rid of it now. And uh, and then this this one, this is like the Mexican um, cinnamon. I'm not used to the Mexican cinnamon. This Mexican cinnamon really, really breaks apart. It's really soft. All right, I think we're good, right? I think we got all of it. But yeah, this is the way to do it, though. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta follow Grandma's recipe. And. That's it. Shout out to everybody out there. But yeah, so this rice is basically done. What we need to do is now add the rest of the ingredients, which we're gonna add in a second. Okay. That's it. We're done, we're done, we're done. So now the rest of the ingredients are as follows. We got milk, all right? We got sugar. We have um, condensed and evaporated milk. So now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add all this in here and we're gonna cook this a little further, okay? Not much more, you know, just to get everything incorporated. I mean, again, we got the rice perfect. The rice came out beyond perfect. I'm very happy the rice um, this is the consistency you know as you guys can see all right what we want here all right all right so I know you guys can see it there all right all right so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add you know um, the remaining ingredients in this case you know we're gonna be adding um, Okay, so no, so it's a cup of milk, all right. Okay, we got a cup of milk in there. Um, a cup of sugar. Yeah, I know it's a lot of sugar. So this is like half a cup here. But it's funny, I used to remember my grandma saying, if it's gonna be sweet, it has to be sweet. You know what I mean? It's gonna be, if it's not, it's not sweet. So this is a sweet, all right, this is a dessert. So technically, you gotta make sure, and by the way, Cubans, you know, that's, we're addicted to it. All right, so. I'm just doing this to get that sugar. All right, so one can. All right, we're gonna be cooking this more. All right, obviously. Like I said. All right. 
All right, so we got one can of evaporated milk, and we got one can of condensed milk, okay? And so basically, all we're gonna do now is put this back on the heat, make sure you get all that condensed milk, all that yummy, yummy condensed milk, the magical, magical thing we call condensed milk. This is like pure diabetes, by the way. By the way, so few Cubans are diabetic. How funny is that, right? And all we do is eat sweets all day. Our national drink is rum, for crying out loud. Anyways. All right, so now well, I'm just doing this here. Oh, okay, I gotta fix the GoPro. In the meantime, I'm gonna place, uh, you guys can keep watch that. <laughs> Don't forget to follow my Instagram page. <laughs> all right, we're gonna, we're gonna hook up that in a second, all right? But you guys can see there, all right, from this camera, all right? What we're doing now is that we're just gonna mix all this in, okay? See, we're mixing it. By the way, so this is plain rice pudding. You can go on ahead and do whatever you want. You know, there are many versions of this. You can uh, add uh, coconut. Some people like coconut. Some people like, um, you know, other stuff in there. But honestly, the way I like it is like this, okay? Okay, so what we're doing now, okay, I, I'm just showing you. That's why I have it here at this camera angle on the table so I can show you um, what we're doing, but I'm gonna I'm gonna move it to the back now because as you guys can see look how liquidy it is all right, and we need to Go on ahead and uh, We gotta reduce that liquid all right, so yeah It didn't really stick to the bottom because I'm kind of like scraping it now, and it's just it's fine You know we we got it just in the nick of time And so now you know we're gonna put this back on the heat nice and slow all right Now, yes, you know, we do have to, you know, baby it, okay? So we gotta, we do have to baby it and whatever. So, um, so I have it on low, but we gotta keep, keep stirring it. Keep stirring the sauce, keep stirring the sauce, all right? We don't want it to burn. In the meantime, let me go on ahead and, um, so yeah, have locals like add raisins, add pecans. Again, you know, that's, those are the versions I was talking about. You know what I mean? Like people like it with raisins, some people like it with pecans, some people like it with raisins and pecans, some people like it with coconut, some people, I don't like it with any of that shit. I like it plain Jane, that's it, plain Jane, all right? And that's what we're gonna make. But yes, yes, you could add whatever you want to it. You know what I mean? You could add whatever you want. That's it, the recipe is done. All we're doing now is just kind of cooking it, you know what I mean? Um, we gotta thicken it up a little bit more. All right, and let me uh, get the camera turned on again. But yeah, shout out to everybody out there, welcome. So 
this is going to start thickening, thickening up for reals, all right? Again, we have it on low, um, but we've got to cook it some more to make sure it thickens up. So yeah, I'm scraping the bottom. Because remember, there's a lot of sugar. I want to make sure. So what we're doing now, we want it to come to a, let me turn up the heat. I want it to come to a boil. Okay. And then we're going to reduce the, the heat now. All right. Wash these potatoes real quick and we're gonna dice them up and we're gonna add them to the right, to the to the thing, to the dish. Remember, this is not gonna take that long, these, these small potatoes here. So Get those going. Tres leche. Yeah, man, I made some tres leche before. I think you watched that episode. I made tres leche not too long ago. Used my sister's recipe. So good. So now we're just cutting these potatoes nice and small. You can cut them bigger if you want. You can cut them any size you want. But I'm actually cutting them small because well, I like little small potatoes so they can maximize you know, flavor, you know, it's gonna just soak up all that flavor from the broth. You know what I mean? So let's um, make them a little smaller. Okay. You can do whatever you want, guys, you know? It's up to you. But we're making these a little smaller just because, again, you know, I want the... First of all, the potato not to take that long to cook but also, like I said, you know what I mean? The smaller you make anything, the thinner you cut something. Um, you know, that's why ham, some people are like, oh, cut the ham super thin, or certain things are super thin. The reason is because you, the thinner or the smaller it is, the more surface area it has for it to receive or give flavor. You follow? And, um, so like for example, if you get like a potato, like a, a cooked potato, say you get a, a, a whole potato and you fry it, all right? 
and you uh, buy it into the whole potato, it's gonna be very different than if you get a potato and you cut it into chips, into very, very thin chips, and you fry those and you bite into that, right? And, uh, and so on and so on. Even if, you, even if you just bake it, you know what I mean? Like a baked or whatever. It's the same exact principle. So, and the same thing with ham, the same thing with everything. If you get like a piece of ham, hold on a thing. Anyways, if you get yourself like a giant piece of ham, like a chunky piece of ham, and you bite into it, it's gonna taste very different than if you were to get like thin, thinly sliced cuts of ham. And uh, some people like the thick cut, some people like the thin cut. Everybody's a little different. Thin cut or the... All right, let's move it to the GoPro. But that's basically it when it comes to the... Yeah, I definitely need to get the voice commands on there. ASAP. All right, so, you know, we're still good here. I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit more on the rice. All right, but remember, we want it to start boiling, coming to a simmer um, before we can turn it down. So still, remember, we had like cold milk in there and other things that were like room temperature. Oops, I stuck in the wrong, oh. Bro. Hopefully the, hopefully um, the rice pudding doesn't taste like, uh, like chicken. <laughs> Man, I think uh, there's so much sugar in this thing, you, know, you won't be able to tell the difference. All right, so now we're going to just add the potatoes in here. Okay. Look at that. Doesn't that look good so far already? Wow. And that's it. You know, now we're just waiting for the potatoes to cook, get nice and soft, which shouldn't take that long. And we're basically done. We're basically done. We just gotta make, I gotta make some rice to go with this, okay? I'm gonna make some rice to serve the chicken with. So let's go on ahead and do that now. Okay, we're gonna cover that for a minute. Man, I love this leche. But anyway, shout out to everybody out there in the audience. Much appreciated. All right, so let's just go on and, and bring the camera over here for a minute. All right, let's uh, do the rice cam. I'm gonna wash the rice. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, everybody. All right, so you already know we're going to do the same thing we did before. Let's take half a cup. We're doing half a cup of rice, all right? So half a cup of rice to one cup of water. All right, so we're just going to go on and you know, just wash it. But you see, when I, when I do a little bit of rice, you see why I don't really wash it that much because it's so little. I just do it all in the colander. Do, do all of it. I just wash it here. Because it's already kind of, was using this for the rice pudding. Okay. Bring it back over here. 
All right, so I'm going to show you how. Okay, so we're going to make, again, we're going to make rice in the pan. Okay? We'll make rice in there. So first, we're going to turn it on. On high. Yeah, sorry guys, something was going on with the gas for some reason. I don't know that it's gas, right? Do you know that it's gas, right? Which is okay, yeah, okay, pedimos a poquito. Yeah, sorry guys, one second. Yeah, yeah, like the gas wasn't coming out like it usually does all of a sudden. Like, man, what the hell? We ran out of gas already again? I think it's the, the fan. I think I just got the fan on so high. Because it's so hot. No, no, we're running out of gas. They say, got talking gas around me? I don't think. That can't be right, man. No way. How the hell? Can you open? Yeah, sorry, guys. But have you done Pokemon? Yeah, I'll see you, right? We ordered gas two months ago. Bro, I can't believe I ran out of gas. Here, 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 here. Yeah. You see? Yeah, man, that's not that's not good, man. What the hell? We ran out of gas already. You know what I mean? Two months in. Damn. What the hell? Yeah. leak or something because uh you know the the usage of gas doesn't make any sense man so look guys i think i'm gonna have to go next door and finish cooking this and then bring it back so fuck give me a second sorry about that jesus man what a wanna play him out of gas give me a second guys 
Man, this sucks. I can't believe I had a guess. All right, give me one sec. I, I mean, I gotta go at least finish the, the rice pudding or something next door, so. Oh, wow, no way, the fire already died out. Man. Oh, I, might have to, I might have to end the episode early, man. What a, bro. Bruh, bruh. One second. guys well we definitely don't have any more gas we ran out of gas already so um yeah i don't really know what to do per se i mean i'm probably gonna go to the neighbors and see if i can finish cooking over there but what i'm saying is i don't know what, if you guys want to just stick around and i don't know watch nothing you know uh, because i don't know what else to stream if i'm not going to be here i can't take you with me if i'm going to be somewhere else you know what i mean in my neighbor's house finishing the meal so I don't know if you guys want to stick around and wait for me to finish the meal and then bring the food over, you know, um, and do the taste test or if uh, I should just end the episode here and, uh, you know, re, re, uh, regroup and start again tomorrow. Yeah, this is awful, man. I wonder what the hell happened to the gas, man. I mean, there has to be a leak or something. Definitely got to get that fixed. So hopefully there's an episode tomorrow. I think there should be an episode tomorrow, but this sucks. All right. Uh, I'm gonna give it a minute, see what you guys are saying in the chat. Yeah, improvise with what though? There's no fire, you know what I mean? I gotta need fire, there's nothing to, you know, improvise with, you know what I mean? Like I said, I gotta go next door and I gotta, you know, cook, but then, you know, you're just gonna be looking at nothing for an hour or half an hour or whatever, you know what I mean? So, so there's really nothing I can do now. I mean, yeah, I, I should have gas tomorrow, but I definitely gotta check out the, the gas situation, the lighting situation. So. Where the mega? Look, like I said, I've run out of gas before, and I've been able to finish the meal, but I can't really do anything now. I, all I can do is go next door and finish it. So you know, I guess I, I mean I am gonna. I am, by the way, I am gonna finish the meal. I'm just saying I don't. Know, I don't know if you guys want to wait, you know, for me to finish the meal. So that's the thing. <laughs> so I mean, for sure, I gotta go finish the meal. I'm. I'm gonna go over there right now and finish it. Um, but yeah, we definitely ran out of gas. That's for sure. That sucks. That sucks because I gotta lug, I gotta lug all this over there. I gotta bring all the food back over here. It's a pain in the fucking ass, man. Anyways, anyways, Jaloof, look, I, I get it, bro. I know, you, I know you want me to not stop, but I, I can't. You know what I mean? Like, if I could, I would. You know what I mean? Like, I can't take it. You know what I mean? I can't take this whole. In fact, let me show you guys. You know what? Might as well kill some time. Show you guys what the setup looks like. All right. So first of all, it, it all it's all connected. All right. You're looking at you're looking at the GoPro right now. This is the GoPro um, action. Okay. So look, this right here. You see, this is my computer setup. Okay. 
So this is the computer. All right, this is the microphone. Look, I got a fan here for the heat. You know, that's camera one. All right, so you got camera one right there. All right, we got that. Look at look at all these wires. Look at all this setup. All right, look at this. This is how I got the camera hooked up. All right, the other camera. All right, we got it. No, some duct tape, as you guys can see there. So this is the setup, guys. Look, this is the the internet. All right, and all the wires and everything. So, so yeah, I mean, I got internet, you see, but it's like hard wired and. So anyways, but that's the setup, guys. You know what I mean? That's the setup. And then and then you're watching this, you know, again on a GoPro. That's also hooked up, right? So that's that's the setup there, guys. You know. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, terrible that we ran it against. I can't believe it ran out of gas, man. This is like the worst thing ever. It's just, the thing is that why I'm upset is because we filled the gas not that long ago. You know what I mean? So, hold on, huh? Which is, yeah, I mean, that's why I'm, I'm upset because, you know, we filled up the gas not that long ago. And um, there's no reason, there's no reason for it to, to for us to run out of gas. It's kind of like upsetting and pissed off and, by the way, Narod, if you want to see a tour of the whole house, uh, I got other YouTube channels where I've already given a tour of the whole house, all right? And I'm not going to give a tour of the house. I'm really kind of over that, sh over sharing, all right? Um, but anyways, yeah, man, there's nothing really I can do. Um, let me let me see what's up. Give me a second. Give me one sec, all right? Stay tuned, all right? Uh, you guys can just... Uh... Let me see if I can... I think I'm going to move this over here. Yeah. All right, so actually what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna go finish the meal um, next door, all right? So hopefully you guys are still around, but I get it if you're not around, all right? So yeah, you know, sorry. <laughs> so, you know, just hang, hang around.
I know you're busting balls, man. Don't worry about it, man. It's all good. Um, I, I mean, the meal has to be done. It just has to be finished, you know, so don't worry. It's going to end. Um, I was just, you know, again, I was just thinking, should I keep the stream going or not? But you know what? I think I am going to keep the stream going. I mean, there's no reason not to keep the stream going. Um, if you guys are still around and somebody shows up, uh, maybe you can just let them know what's going on. But there's really nothing I can do. Um, I'll probably be in the chat as I'm next door, but I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. And I'm just going to start taking things over and then I'll bring things back. So, you know, bear with me, guys. Be back soon.
Yes.
Hey guys, I'm back, I'm back. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Hey guys, sorry, give me a second here. Sorry guys, yeah, so we can't even get gas out here. Something happened with the gas. Sorry. Gracias, meow, meow. Wow. All right. Well, we're, bueno, ya está la comida casi. Quiere comer? Anyways, let's uh, check out the chicken. All right. I'm going to hook up the GoPro real quick, all right? All right, let me keep this covered up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the GoPro so you guys can see everything. Hey, guys. Again, thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for hanging out. I can't believe all of you. Are you guys all there? Were you guys all hanging out with me? I can't believe all of you guys stayed. Well, hey, if you guys all stayed, man, hey, shout out to all of you, man. Seriously. You guys are the real MVPs, man. You guys are the real MVPs. But yeah, right now we were calling all the gas companies. Well, Christian was, while I was cooking next door, um, Christian was calling all the gas companies and basically 
See, she was telling me that all the gas companies are so busy that she hasn't even been able to contact the gas company. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cook tomorrow. All right, guys, so, you know, tomorrow's cooking is all gonna depend on whether they pick up my gas tank today, I get gas and I'm able to cook. Regardless, I'll, I'll cook on Friday, I guess. Man, this sucks. But we haven't even been able, the, the only way that she was able to get in contact with uh, with one of the people was that she, uh, she left a bad review on Google and immediately they contacted her. So, you know. Yeah, so man, I am so sorry about today's episode, and I hope that tomorrow we can make an episode. I, I mean, second let me just change your battery man what a what a bummer but I gotta figure out the gas situation so uh, as soon as we're done with this episode I gotta I gotta figure it out I might have to call a friend to help me fill that up or something so what a pain in the butt not that not the kind of a pain in the butt you you know that's good either I was able to cook the white rice. We were able to cook the chicken, and we were able to, we were able to cook the arroz con leche, the rice pudding. Um, just trying to show you guys the finished product here. But honestly, I think um, the rice pudding, you know, we're not really going to be able to serve it or show you until tomorrow or Friday, you know, whenever we get back here. So horrible. So I'm putting these containers here so we can fill them up with uh, So shout out to, hey, by the way, shout out to all of you guys. Seriously, I, I see there's a lot of you guys in the chat. A lot of people still watching, hanging out. But yeah, man, so weird. First of all, that the gas went out so quickly. So weird um, that we can't get in contact with any gas companies. Everything is just whack, diddly act. I'll tell you that right now. So... beautiful the chicken looks beautiful wow. look at that we're gonna serve some up now but before we serve it up I want to just uh I want to finish up here the rice pudding so look at the rice pudding it's, it's still warm it's still hot um, but look at how thick it's already gotten okay let's go straight to the GoPro just so you can take a quick look Okay, but look at how thick okay and this is already cooled down a little bit all right this is already cooled down because again i was at the neighbor's house you know using their gas all right mm. tastes amazing all right so yeah now 
this thing is really broken today. All right, so what I'm gonna do here, all right, we're gonna go on ahead and start just serving this up. All right, I gotta put this rice, this, look at all this rice pudding I made, there's so much rice pudding. If anyone out there is watching and wants some rice pudding, let me know. Alright, so we're going to be putting rice pudding in all of these small containers. Um, you guys in the chat are more than welcome. By the way, again, thank you so much for your patience today. Okay, thank God that we can save all these containers here. So yeah, we're doing this, uh, you know, grandma style. You know, basically, you know, all the containers that we've saved you know, throughout our time cooking, you know, those are the ones that we're gonna use to fill up, okay? So you guys can keep an eye on the chicken back there, all right? So I'm gonna just start serving this up so it can cool down. In fact, let me serve one up and let me put it in the, in the freezer so that way Christian can try it out. But basically, look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. All right? That's the rice pudding. And there's just one last ingredient. There's just one last ingredient. And, um... It's a little bit of cinnamon. Cin cinnamon, cinnamon, all right? Okay, look at that. Okay. So I'm gonna go on ahead and just serve up all of this rice pudding. Man, I still can't believe about the gas situation. Tú le subiste el volumen a la música. Oh. You know, I just realized the music was really loud. I don't know. I, maybe I turned it up by mistake. But anyways, it seems like you guys in the chat were enjoying it. So, but yeah, again, you know, even though we ran out of gas, you know, we're still here. <laughs> you know, we're still able to cook it off. I'm just serving this up now because I want to, you know, get this out of the way so you guys can see how we serve it. So basically, you're just serving it. You're making little, uh, you know, portion savings. You're doing one, one portion saving there. <laughs> Thank you, Barb. Shout out to you. Not all heroes wear capes. <laughs> all right, so what we're doing here... All right, like again, you see, we're just, these are all like portions, you know what I mean? Just a one person portion here, you know, give or take, you know? So I'm just portioning these out. If there's anyone out there that wants some uh, rice pudding, you know where to hit me up. 
and the rice pudding, you know, it stays for a while. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's good for a while. It's not like it goes bad immediately. You know, it actually takes a long time. You know, it can, it can sit a long time in the fridge is what I'm saying. A long time meaning about a week. You know, within a week you want to throw this out. So by Wednesday of next week you better eat it at all by now. Okay. But yeah, shout out to my neighbor. Thanks to her and her gas. We were able to finish today's meal. But like I said, we haven't been able to get in contact with the gas people. So, I mean, if they don't pick up the gas tank today, definitely not gonna have any gas for tomorrow. So, if they got no gas, can't really do a show. So we'll play it by ear. But look at that. What a beautiful thing. Shout out to everybody out there. All right, so look at all these, look at all that rice pudding we were able to make. Look at that. All right, we still got one in the fridge, remember? So. The one we put in the fridge, that's the one that Chris is gonna try out. All right, so now, what we're gonna do now, again, this is this is how you do it. This is how grandma would do it. Now, you just go on ahead and you gotta add that cinnamon now, and then you put it in the fridge. Beautiful. Definitely makes grandma proud. Look at that. Look at all that rice pudding. Who wants some rice pudding, huh? Who wants some of grandma's rice pudding? All right, so we're just gonna put all these out here to kind of cool off. All right. I'm gonna put all this to the side. So I can cool off. And then we're gonna get Christian out here so she can try out the chicken that you guys have been waiting so long for. <laughs> but shout out to everybody, shout out to every single person out there hanging out with me all throughout this whole meal. Again, thank you so much for your patience today. With all the technical difficulties, how long has it been for the stream? Oh, it still has, it hasn't been that long. I thought it was gonna be a lot longer. It's not even three hours yet. All right. So I'm gonna start serving up. Ready? You ready to eat? Give me a hand, break. Yeah, mate. All right, so let's uh, serve it up. Cinnamon in my hands. Seriously, guys, you know, thank you so much for your patience today, hanging out with me today. Again, you never know, anything can happen. Literally, today's episode, we ran out of gas. You know, Jesus. We were robados. Yeah, they stole our gas. I'm, I'm still thinking that they... It's a mafia. It's a mafia. Gas. Todas las empresas de gas hacen lo mismo. Te roban gas. All right. They stole our gas. Así que quiero aprovechar este video... <laughs> 
Yeah, so basically the gas companies, you know, they say, hey, we're giving you 80 pounds of gas and then they give you like 40 pounds of gas. And how the hell are you supposed to know? So you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm going to get my handyman and I'm going to see if we can buy like a thing to measure gas. And we're going to measure the gas tank when they bring me the gas tank. All right, and that's it, you know. So, I mean, that's what I used to do in the restaurant the business. The problem is that even if you recognize and you're showing in the face your error, no se hacen responsables de eso. Uh -huh. O sea, lo que voy es que tú le puedes decir, oye, me estás dando un tan y que no O sea, ellos se pueden como que desentender. No, no problem. No hay consecuencias. I know, I, know, I mean, she's, a, look, I mean, we'll talk about this later. Um, but no, I know what you're saying, but she's like, oh, when the gas guy comes, you know, let, let me just serve up the food, okay? But it's like, oh, when the gas guy comes and you show them that they didn't give you the right amount of gas, okay. You know, they're going to go on ahead and they're going to they're gonna be like, oh, I'm not responsible for that. There's nothing I can do. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, I used to work in the restaurant business. There's a lot they can do. All right. Trust me. All right. I'm not accepting that tank. All right. Until you give me what the gas I want, the gas that I paid for. Okay. And that's it. Take the tank back and that's it. And then, you know, you, and by the way, are we in Mexico? No, can we call Profeco? Exactly. So, you know, there are options out here, okay? And we will explore those options. So, you know, trust me, you know? No, I get it, you know what I mean? Like, um, but, you know, there are ways to fill up your gas tank. You know what I mean? There's not um, one way. No, but I know what you're saying. Trust me, I know what you're saying. In the U.S., in every country, they do something similar with, with something. So, there's not anything new. Um, I think most of us that are human living on this earth, we're, we're already used to getting... <laughs> Right? By the system. Right? Uh, uh, fucking no Vaseline. All right, so I'm going to give her some chicken here. Some yummy, yummy chicken. Mulito, get it? That's una patica. See? Look at that. Look how beautiful that looks. Yeah, so this is uh, typical Cuban, Cuban food. All right? In, in fact... It's probably cooked very similarly like how you would in Cuba, you know, like running out of gas, running out of ingredients. Let me take it to the neighbor's house. Let me give the neighbor some food. Um, you know, this is probably, this is how you would cook it in Miami a lot of times, you know, with the neighbor's help, with the community's help. Why mucho? Too much? Give something gizmo. Yeah, just eat what you want, and then I got, I got a postre. Get a postre, no? Ay, no puedo freír los maduros. Yeah, so no fried plantains. I couldn't fry plantains because you know we didn't have any time. We didn't have any gas for that either. We got our overhead helicopter cam there. Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> Look at that. What a beautiful thing. Got Gizmo out there. Also enjoying himself. But yeah, guys, you know, um, thanks again for sticking around with us today. Uh, Christian's about to taste this and try it out and see how it all came out um, for your viewing pleasure. But uh, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have a show tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to have any more shows this week. You know, I don't know. We've got to figure out this whole gas situation, all right? Um, so, you know, it is what it is. Um, I might still live stream. But maybe no cooking, you know. I'll, I'll probably just do a live stream like I've uh, told you guys I would yeah, do before. <laughs> She's like, oh, what are you gonna do a boring live stream? What are you gonna do a live stream without the cooking for? That's boring. Who wants to see that? So make cold salads. Yeah, no, it's all right. <laughs> no, no rabbit food. Yo apoyo eso. Yeah, Chris is like, yeah, make some rabbit food. O puedes hacer algo en grill otra vez. Yeah, or I might grill something. Look, again, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be around tomorrow or Thursday. But, you know, I also got a lot of shit on my plate that I got to take care of. And, uh, you know, all of a sudden putting a whole production tomorrow, um, you know, putting a grill on, you know, getting all the ingredients for the grill and doing all that, that's also going to take a lot of time. Because even yesterday's, um, even the, the, the meal that I had planned for tomorrow, 
Um, you know, it's not something I can really do on the grill, so I would have to do a whole new menu. So we'll see. We'll play it by here. But yeah, everything looks amazing. Though. Everything did come out awesome, no matter what. Right? Yeah? All right. All right, on a scale of 1 to 10, what did I get today? 10. A 10. Look at that. Look at that. And by the way, Narud Jaloof, you know, which was busting my balls, you know, why didn't I finish the episode when I finished the meal? He didn't even finish the episode. He didn't even finish the meal. Where the hell is he? Shot at you. I'm calling you up, bro. Shots taken. <laughs> and I'm busting your balls. <laughs> wow. Oh, you're wrong, buddy. Let me rip Close enough. But yeah, I am not, I'm not happy with the gas situation. So we're going to have to fix that and figure that out and, and all that. Barry, you want to buy the rice with leche? That's it, or buy a pinch of stuff electric. No. Okay. Because I got the electricity and it's not good. Once I buy electricity, you got no, no. No, 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 gas is, no, listen, listen. She's like, oh, what, do you just get an electric stove? No, no, <laughs> bad, bad Christian. Back. No. No. Gas. All right? Trust me. What we need is a backup gas tank. That's what we need. And I'll get that. I'm definitely going to get a back. Uh, it's like a, like a, you know, a gas up. If I had a backup, I would have just changed the backup. You know what I mean? In like a five, ten minutes. And uh, we would have had gas and we would have been able to finish everything from here. Had gas tomorrow. Had gas until the gas guy comes. You know what I mean? So I think that's what we're going to end up doing. I'm going to just end up doing that. And we're going to figure it out. Um, I just hope that we can do, you know, at least one more episode this week. But if we can't, we can't. It is what it is. Nothing we, you know, we can do about it. So. More of this coming in the days to come with program shortages. Yeah, the thing is that we don't have shortages out here. You know, that's the problem. In fact, it's the opposite. So it's funny you mentioned that because in Mexico, we have the opposite problem when it comes to like the gas and other natural resources. We have extra natural resources in fact remember mexico is not fighting they're not against you know ukraine or russia or any of that shit in fact they're still buddy buddy so they get all the natural gas all the regular gas they get everything plus everything we, we you know everything is fine there um but that's not the point in fact there's a lot of natural gas and there's a lot of gas that's being produced and being given away here in mexico in fact um, one of the new social programs that the president has put into place has basically um, giving away gas to the poor. You know, so like in the USA, you know how you might get like food stamps? Well, out here, you'll get free gas. So you get gas for like very cheap so that you can uh, make sure you never, never run out of gas and that you always have gas and you don't got to worry about gas and you can just have that so you can cook and you don't have to resort to making a fire or something more dangerous all right so um so actually the thing with mexico is a little different what's going on now is just basic just corruption capitalist corruption you know what i mean the same that, that would happen anywhere else the thing is that since uh there's so little rules and regulation in mexico well certain things get taken advantage of so there's monopolies out here with some of these companies and uh and then they all even if um, there is not a monopoly all the gas companies are in cahoots you know, like big pharma, like, you know, like other situations back home, you know, all the fast food restaurants, whatever. And then basically they all work together to make sure that they all give the same shitty service and the same high prices. But now the problem is that the monopoly is kind of breaking up because now the government is saying, hey, listen, you don't have to de depend on these uh, companies that are, you know, basically, uh, do, you know, what is it taking advantage of you guys? You know, you can just sign up for this government program and we'll give you free gas. Now, unfortunately, you know, since I'm not a poor Mexican, I don't really qualify for getting free gas. Not that I would want it anyway. I would rather give it, have them get it. But then, you know, I got other solutions that I can, you know. Uh, yeah, gas is not negotiable. Yeah, gas is not negotiable. You know, so honestly, the reality is, is like I got solutions. You know, my solution is I can afford to buy another tank, have a backup, and just make sure I never run out of gas. And that's it. You know, that's my situation. But, um... You know, my, my, you know, the, the main concern I have is just the fact that, like, how the companies steal from you. And so that's, that's, that's the only thing. And so, like, just now me as a, you know, indignant, uh, you know, customer, client, you know, I don't, I don't want to put up with that shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, look, you, know, you can fill up my gas tank halfway. That's fine. But I'm, I'm only paying half that gas. I'm not going to pay. You get what I'm saying? And so I know what she was saying. It's like, oh, when the, when the gas guy comes, he's going to blah, 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 and blah, blah. Listen, 
I played that game a million times. I used to be a chef and I used to do all that shit. Either you take the gas bank back or either you charge me for what it says here. We'll do the calculation right now. I'll call your boss, whatever, but we're going we're gonna to get this fixed right fucking now. Right now. So either you take the gas tank back and fill it up all the way so I can pay you. All right? Or I'm just going to pay you for whatever you gave me here. Either or we have a solution. I got a solution. You know what I mean? And so that's it. You know what I mean? Like when I used to be a chef, uh, are you kidding me? You know how many purveyors used to do shit like this all the time? Whether it was with chicken or with uh, other, you know, other things, you know, gas, whatever it was. Whatever it was. And it's like you had to be the bigger asshole. You know, you had to be like, nah, motherfucker, fuck that. You know what I mean? I'll start a fire in my backyard if I have to while I'm suing you. You know what I mean? Like, or whatever. You know what I mean? So, there's, there's always a, you know, there's always a solution. So, that's it. Look at that. She was she was saying, oh, you, I, you served me too much. Bruh. And she already ate the whole thing. All right? So, do I know my wife or what? Huh? What are you? All right. Yeah, she, said that she was just really pissed off Cuando at the gas. Molesto, <laughs> so anyways, but yeah, it came out good. Quiero probar un poquito de la ronda man para ya so we can end the episode here. Oh! 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 Look at that! Ya me estaba quejando. No, 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 I got your cold one, baby. Come on, come on, man. You're dealing with a professional here. You're dealing with a professional. Here, just try it out. And once we get the approval from her, then I can go raid another channel assuming there's anyone watching on twitch and we'll go from there look at that all right let's have the moment of truth let's see let's see yeah she actually thought it was going to be a lot sweeter no it's not that sweet right it's sweet but not sweet enough that's good now on a scale of one to ten a nine this is me right now <laughs> no, you know why? No, you know why? Um, it's because um, the Mexican version of arroz con leche is so different. So different. It's basically milk, like liquidy milk with rice. So she's probably used to that, right? That shit's fucking nasty. But anyways, this is my opinion. <laughs> no, actually, I've never tried it, but I look at it, I'm like, I don't want to eat that. I don't look right. That looks like it needs to cook some more. <laughs> As you guys saw, we cook our rice pudding to death. All right? So, anyways, creamy goodness. That's right. Creamy freaking goodness. All right, so give me a second. You can keep watching the wife eating. Uh, I'm going to go raid another channel on Twitch. Be back in a minute. All right? And uh, we're going to end the show.
All right. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I appreciate it. I know today's episode was extra long, longer than it needed to be. We probably should have been done like an hour ago. Uh, but as uh, we were putting the finishing touches on everything, the gas ran out. You already know. But you already know how we do here. All gas, no brakes. So uh, even though we ran out of gas here, we were able to find gas elsewhere. And then uh, we finished the show. And uh, Christian finished her plate. And uh, <laughs> here we are. We had a wonderful, wonderful day. So guys, you already know the deal. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit the bell icon. But more importantly than anything else, please stay awesome. Thanks again for watching. I hope to be back the next day or two. Uh, we got to figure out the gas situation. But if not, we'll be back soon. You know we ain't going nowhere. We're only, uh, you know, growing more and more each day and doing more and more each day here. So thanks again for everyone out there that stuck around throughout the whole thing. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one, whenever that is. Bye. Hopefully tomorrow. Bye. Or the next day. Or the next day. Or the next day. Or the next day.